Max. What? Darling. What is it? You're very thoughtful. No. You are, I know it. Where's your husband? My husband? You know where he is. Where? He's at work. Poor fellow, working away all day. I know what he's like. <laughs> I wonder if we'd get on. I wonder if we'd, um, well, you know, hit it off. I shouldn't think so. Why not? You've got very little in common. Haven't we? He's certainly very accommodating. I mean, he knows perfectly well about these afternoons of ours, doesn't he? Of course. He's known for years. Why does he put up with it? Why are you suddenly talking about him? Why does he put up with it? I mean, what's the point of it? It isn't a subject you normally elaborate on. I'm asking you again. Why does he put up with oh, it? Shut up. I'm asking you a question. He doesn't mind. Doesn't he? Well, I'm beginning to mind. What did you say? I'm beginning to mind. What are you talking about? It's got to stop. It can't go on. Are you serious? It can't go on. You're joking. No, I'm not. But why? Because of my husband. Oh, not because of my husband, I hope. I think that's going a little far. No, nothing whatever to do with your husband. It's because of my wife. Your wife? I can't deceive her any longer. What? Well, I've been deceiving her for years. I, I just can't go on with it. It's killing me. Darling, oh, you... Me. What did you say? You heard. But your wife knows. You've told her all about us. She's known all the time. No, she doesn't know. She thinks I know a whore, that's all. Some part-time whore, that's all. That's what she thinks. Yes, but be sensible, my love. She doesn't mind, does she? Well, she'd mind if she knew the truth, wouldn't she? What truth? What are you talking about? She'd mind if she knew that, in fact, I've got a full-time mistress two or three times a week, a woman of grace, elegance, wit, imagination. Yes, yes, In an affair her. that's been going on for years. She doesn't mind. She wouldn't mind. She's happy. She's happy. Oh, don't talk so wet. I didn't know you were an orphaner. I wish you'd stop all this rubbish anyway. You're doing your best to ruin the whole afternoon. <sighs> Darling, you don't think you could have what we have with your wife, do you? I mean, my husband, for instance, completely appreciates that I... How does he bear it, your husband? How does he bear it? Hmm? And doesn't he smell me when he comes home in the evening? And what does he say? He must be mad. And now, what's the time? Half past four. Now, when he's sitting in his office, knowing what's going on here, I mean, how does he feel? How does he bear it? No. How? He's happy for me. He appreciates the way I am. He understands. Perhaps I ought to meet him and have a word with him. Are you drunk? Perhaps I should do that. And after all, he's a man like me. We're both men. You're just a bloody woman. Stop it. What's the matter with you? What's happened to you? Stop it. What are you doing? Playing a game? A game? I don't play games. Don't you? Oh, you do, you do. Usually I like them. I played my last game. The children. What? The children. I've got to think of the children. What children? For my children, my wife's children. Any minute now they'll be out of boarding school. I've got to think of them. I want to whisper something to you. Listen. Let me whisper to you. Hmm? Can I? Please. like me to whisper to you? You like me to love you? 
whispering, don't you? Oh, listen. You mustn't worry about wives, husbands, things like that. It's silly. It's really silly. It's you. It's you here, here with me. Here together. That's what it is. Isn't it? You whisper to me. You take tea with me. That's what we are. That's us. Love me. You're too bony. That's what it is, you see. I could have put up with everything if it weren't for that. You're too bony. Me? Bony? Don't be ridiculous. I not? How can you say I'm bony? Every move you make, your bones stick into me. I'm sick and tired of your bones. What are you talking I'm about? I'm telling you that you're too bony. But I'm fat. Look at me. I'm plump anyway. You always told me I was plump. You were plump once. You're not plump anymore. Look at me. Well, you're not plump enough. And you're nowhere near plump enough. And you know what I like? Enormous women. Like bullocks. With others. Vast, great other bullocks. You mean cows. I don't mean cows. I mean voluminous, great uttered feminine bullocks. Once, years ago, you vaguely resembled one. Oh, thanks. But now, quite honestly, compared to my ideal, your skin and bone. You're having a lovely joke. It's no joke. 